Hi and welcome to the second video of the mini series of moving from Windows Server to a Linux server. This uh, video I'm going to show you how to install CentOS and show you a little snag I hit because my disks were actually NTFS. So I'm not sure if I'll show you the NTFS thing in this video or in the next video. But anyway, what you want to do is you want to go to CentOS.org forward slash download, download uh, CentOS or whatever Linux version really or, or distribution you'd like. I'm going with CentOS because like I said previously, I am studying for my RH Red Hat certified systems admin um, certification. So that's why I'm using CentOS. Download it. Then what you can do is plug in your USB thumb drive and you can just image the ISO to the thumb drive using something like Etcher. I will have a link below the video and in the blog post to Etcher. It's actually very easy. If you let's open it quickly. You'll plug in your USB thumb drive. It should just appear here. If it doesn't, you can select it here. Select your image and browse to your ISO that you just downloaded. And then flash, boom. It'll take a while and flash the ISO image to the USB. Then what you want to do, basically plug it into your machine, the USB disk, and then just boot it up. For all my machines, I just boot it straight into the USB, into Linux's um, installer. If that's not the case for you, just maybe go into the BIOS or check your motherboard manufacturer's website for how to boot using a USB thumb drive. Anyway, so as you can see here, this new virtual disk, that's the NTFS disk that I actually created in the Windows 10 VM. I've attached that now to this server, the uh, CentOS server. And then I've chosen CentOS 7 as my ISO. So I'm just going to click start, start that up. Then you choose install CentOS 7 or your version of Linux or distribution. Wait for it to load. Okay, so let's see. I'm doing this on a virtual machine because I've already built my server and I had a few, few issues which I had to restart but this is how you learn um choose english if that's your first language i chose south africa because i'm from south africa and you know continue there's probably hundreds of these videos on how to install linux so i understand if you don't watch this one it's picked up my location johannesburg keyboard is us layout uh, local media is correct. Minimal install. I just want to check there. Yes, that's what I want. The minimal install. You can obviously choose GNOME, Desktop, KDE, or any of these others. But for my server, I went with a minimal install. Okay, destination. You'll need to choose your disk. So there's the NTFS disk. Um, no, I like this is the NTFS disk because it's very small to 2 gig. So you can see there's. It's not reading it properly. So here's the 8 gig. And I want to choose that. So make sure you choose the correct disk that you want to install Linux on. So done. I'm just going to choose, let it do the automatic partitioning and all that. I'm not going to go and choose a partition for root, the partition for home, etc. Then network and host name. It's always a good idea to just switch on your network. And uh, if you want to give it a host name, let's just give it a test server as a name. Then give the name there. Switch it on there. You can actually configure your network as well if you want to give it a static IP, which I've done on my server. Uh, it's actually not letting me... Uh, I'm not sure why. Um...
Okay. But anyway, you can change it to a static IP to your root and all that. But I'm using DHC because this is a VM. Click on done. KDump is enabled. I left that. Default no profile. Profile selected for security policy. Default begin installation. And here you can set your root password. I'm just going to choose an easy one for now. Obviously you want your root password to be quite secure. So a long, nice and difficult to guess password. Or very difficult to guess password what you want to use. If you have a weak password like I have, you have to click on done twice. And then we'll say, say teens and the password. And done twice. So that's my user. I'm not making it an admin. I will show you later um, how I add my user account to the wheel group to, to have sudo access or sudo as file. Um, I think they call it the sudo as file. But I saw in, in Red Hat and CentOS it's the wheel group. I'll show you all. I'll show you when we get there. So yeah, let's. I'm getting this to install quickly. Okay, so it's finished installing. All you need to do now is say reboot. And then we reboot the server and it's going to ask us for the license agreement, which is very small. Oh, boot failure. I know why. I'll show you. This is exactly the issue I had with the NTFS thing. I'll show you in the next video how to fix this. So what we need to do is get out of the screen. Boom. And remove the NTFS disks. So what happened was I had the same problem. Uh, close power off. Because all my disks with my data on were NTFS disks. So reload settings. I'm not sure if that's going to break anything. So what I'm going to do there is remove attachment. So I'm going to remove that disk. So okay, so there's no NTFS disk now. Let's see, it should start up now. And boot into CentOS. There we go. So that's exactly what I'll show you on the next video, how to fix that NTFS issue. So if you've attached disks that are um, NTFS uh, file system servers, uh, disks, then remove them to get to boot into your Linux server and I will show you on CentOS how to fix that. This video is just the installation video so I'm just going to log in my user account. So you'll see if I do an update it should tell me I'm not part of the sudoers file so I can't do an update. So you'll need to boot log into root with root and then on the next video I'll show you how to grant that access. So this is how you install it. Uh, if we go exit, ooh, exit, root, and then just do a list. There we go. We can actually update the, the server now. So I would just go yum update, and then update your server after you've installed it. Good practice to just Get the latest updates. Say yes. And there we go. Thanks for watching. This is video two. How to install your CentOS server. Uh, the next video, as I said, will show you how to get past the NTFS issue and how to grant yourself um, sudo access or sudo access for your normal account. Uh, yes, I just want to install this also this key. Uh, yes, I had that key. Okay, so this is going to install the updates. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.